Well, I have to say, I probably like you guys watched quite a few YouTube videos yesterday. And one of them I watched was a guy talking about how that his VW, VW Bug, 68 VW Bug was his dream car. Or, I don't know. He just was talking about owning a classic. Which brought me to the question to myself, what's a dream car and what was my dream car? Yes, I'm in the middle of washing these things up real quick. Was it one of these? Was it something new like this? Might have been one of these. Well, at one point, it was one of these, a 21 or 23 window bus. And Ian, everybody goes, why don't you put the skylight windows in if it was your dream car? And I'm, well, it's kind of changed over the years. Um, just one more thing to maintain the sunroof and having to open and close it. So I'm kind of on the fence of ever doing that. I kind of like the 13 window now. And I would say out of all the cars I have, this is probably the one I enjoy the most. This is 13 window, 66 bus. I'll tell you a couple of things about it real quick that I enjoy. Or the shifting, this has a, um, if you look where my shifting is, I can actually sit back in my seat. That's first gear, second gear, third, fourth. And you notice if you have a bus, most of the time they're way up here, quite a bit further. This has a, uh, I guess we were, we've been trying to do research on this. 66, I believe they changed the shifting position. And that really made it a lot more comfortable to drive. Um, and most of them, like I said, are up further. And usually I'm bumping my hand into the dash. This one, I never do that. So there's a lot of things I really like about this van. And I would say that this was one of my favorites. But let's talk about dream cars. What is a dream car? You know? Really, back when I was younger, a dream car was a car that would do everything. You know, you would get great gas mileage. You had tons of power. You, you know, it was comfortable. It handled really well. Sort of like this car. Now, this car handles like the Porsche 911s I've had. It, it has good power. It's super fun to drive. Um, but then it's like a love-hate relationship it is so hard to work on so those things all end up changing your mind about what your dream car is if you do any of your own work by the way i did not buy this car as a dream car it was just a car that would have air conditioning comfortable drive i drive a lot um, so that's why i bought it but after i've had the engine failures on this one uh, kind of on the fence whether I want to get another. Uh, finding out that this year was the biggest problem year um, for this car. So I don't know. Maybe I'll get a newer one. That's a little scary thought, isn't it? So the question is, is it a dream or is it a memory? Uh, I remember back years ago at Newport Beach, sitting in the back of the van, sitting about where I'm sitting. There was a girl sitting here. There's another girl sitting there. And... uh not at the time i didn't know they were underaged <laughs> and uh i remember a cop driving by and shining his light in through the windows and we all ducked down just in time of course they never found out we were in it and uh that was a scary thought i found out at that moment that she was under 21 and we were drinking in the car not good or is it a memory of how many times you, you got laid in your van? <laughs> well, that was a lot of times. I mean, my best memories of that are with my wife now. Yeah. So, you know, but is that why you buy a car, a dream car? Because you're going to remember your old history? You know, part of the problem is after you own one for so long, after a while, there becomes things that you just don't like about it anymore. Or you want to change and... The best thing about cars, not like women, you can just get another one. Then again, there's some guys who just get another one with women too. So the question is, was a VW Bug my dream car? Some people, I guess some people it was. Uh, I'm. This was not my dream car. I remember back when I was younger, my dream cars were 
Ferrari. Drove one of those. Don't think I want to own one. Uh, it was pretty cool. But uh, the cost of it, unless I was just like a multi-multi-millionaire, then it would be kind of fun. You wouldn't really care. Um, the cost of maintaining it, working on it, having somebody else work on it would be just such a pain. I wouldn't even be interested in that now. But why do I have VWs still? And it's kind of a default thing. It's more of the memory, I guess. Um, you know, I have a lot of great memories in my VW bug. I think I got laid in one of these things too, by the way. And about half those memories are things like breakdowns. Oh, those things you don't forget very well. Sort of why behind my seat right here in this position, I had my skateboard. It was, I remember several times hopping on my skateboard, riding home from three or four miles away and uh, coming back with tools to fix my car. You know, dream cars kind of lost its luster to me. You know, I just don't think there's really a dream car. I think there's just so many things that are so different about every car. You know, I enjoy all of them. And it's so hard. You know, I guess now I see what it's like to be a car collector. I guess I am. Uh, I never really thought of myself as one, but... Uh, when you have as many cars as I do to wash and maintain, if you didn't notice I was washing them, that's not fun. But when you have so many cars to wash and maintain, you know, you kind of get burned out on that. But then you have a hard time deciding which one to get rid of. You know, do I keep this one or sell this one? Do I, you know, keep buying more of them? You know, it just becomes a, a difficult decision. And right now, I guess I don't really need to sell any, so... I've just been keeping them, so. I guess as long as they're fun, why not? So I guess the question is, what is your dream car? Is it a Volkswagen? Is it a Ferrari? Is it a Bugatti? Is it a car that runs? You know, it's just hard to say. It's hard to say anymore when you've owned as many cars as I have. You know what? I've had Chevys. Um, I had Chevy pickups. I had every Chevy pickup from 55 to 59. I've had a panel van, 55 panel van. I've had uh, a Corvair Monza convertible. Had to sell that. Um, for my first wife's divorce. I had a, I have a, still have a 63 Nova Super Sport convertible, fun car, hard to get rid of that one. Uh, I really want to build it again. Right now I have this fleet of Volkswagens, 67 Westphalia, 60 Ragtop Bug, the 61, uh, six month only color, uh, pastel blue, hardtop bug i have the 66 uh 13 window deluxe van and i have a 61 westphalia which we didn't even get in yet i got this thing i'm doing restoration on of course and the rabbit pickup for now and i have this westphalia which is kind of cool has all the good stuff in it camper fun to drive fun to use you know, when there's not a COVID, I guess, and they have shows. Really like the color of this one, the ceiling wax red. I've always been a fan of that. Um, also, I do like the Tietze in red on the other van. That's another two of my favorite colors for VWs. Well, I don't know. There's a lot of them. I really like a lot of the colors they had. I mean, they were, you know, back years ago, we used to never paint them those colors because they were that way already. But now, everybody takes them back to the original. So I guess for me, the bug brings back my memories as a younger kid. All the stupid stuff I used to do and all the fun stuff I did in it. Um, the van, uh, of course, I've always had a VW van. I've never been without one. Um, it's, 
you know, you know, people go, why don't you want your old van back? It's like, no, I like the ones I have now. Um, but, uh, you know, it's because of the memories I have in driving it and going places and taking so long to get everywhere. You know, I guess that's one of the reasons I still have them. Safari windows opening. That's kind of fun. When it gets hot, you can just open up those windows up and get some cool breeze in your air, in your face. I remember years ago, memories that I had is a friend of mine riding in the passenger seat. We had the safari windows open. We're in Huntington Beach. And he has his feet out of the window. <laughs> that was fun. We were driving down uh, PCH, you know, feet out the window, and everybody's just looking at us. And, you know, back then they didn't know what to do. They didn't, the police didn't want to pull you over. Nowadays they'll probably pull you over right away. They didn't know, you know, whether that was, you know, a violation of the law or just funny or whatever. But um, I remember doing that in the van. I remember driving my VW Bug, and people say that it would never do it. Um, I had a 412 transmission. I'm thinking about it now. And I remember doing 105 in that car, and uh, that was a scary thought today. Um, yeah, driving one of these things, 105, had a big engine in it. It would do it. Yes, it did 105, and I wasn't all the way pinned either. It had some room to go. Probably do 110 as about max, I think. But um, I remember doing 105 in that car. And God, I drove it like that way too often. I'm surprised I didn't die in it. You know, with this metal dash. And it was a 58 body on a 62 pan. And again, somebody says, Why wouldn't you love to have that car back? And I'm like, no. It was so butchered up. You know, it was just a car it was my runner driver you know the ones i have now i enjoy much more than that one um you know i i did have a rag top bug back then the other car i had i've had i don't know close to 100 vws i mean somewhere near there and it was always like you know i would get a chevy or get the ford or get something else didn't have very many fords didn't like them um but i would get a chevy or something like that and then somebody would i had a 64 el camino i remember and one of my friends he said oh well you know you're not gonna have that very long i go well no i'm gonna put it together i was putting the engine together and everything else and all of a sudden a guy comes up with a bug to trade and it had the big engine in it and everything that i wanted and i was like huh well i guess i ended up trading for it and of course you know sucker for the vws so that's kind of where you know vws for me has been a default car it's always been something that i've gone back to um even in the newer cars i end up going back to them even though i don't like them certainly don't like working on the newer ones um but you know there's just familiarity with them and you know, it's more of not really a dream car to me it's just something i'm very familiar with and i'm used to working on and i've gotten to know really well so it's more of a comfort thing than anything else it's not a dream definitely not a dream maybe a lot of memories but not a dream but anyway i just thought that was kind of interesting the guy says his dream car is one of these you know i don't know what do you think i'd like to hear what you guys have to say is it really a dream car or is it just something you have owned before and you just wanted for some reason got suckered into getting again i don't know it's not really suckered in i enjoy all the fun parts about them i enjoy the regionality of this car um tried to make this car replicated original i do have the floor mats for it to original ones and uh, they got kind of messed up when the restoration was going on i was a little upset about that not going to talk about that but anyway that's out there and you know all the stuff like the door handles and just all the familiarity i have with this car from many years of owning them it's just hard for me to give them up you know all right well i thought i'd just make a video on this subject i thought it'd be kind of interesting to watch i'll talk to you guys in the next one please like share and subscribe watch some of the builds going on we'll keep making cars look cool talk to you in the next one